Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Music Vlogger back with another video, and today we're looking at a product here. This is a new cheap in ear monitor. Um, a guy reached out to me, I'll tell you just for disclosure. This product was sent to me for free, so that's out of the way. Someone reached out to me, I'm assuming it's a person at this company. They wanted me to review this, so they sent it to me. I told them, listen, I'm not gonna just like bash your product, but I'm also not gonna lie. So I'm gonna be honest. And they said, yeah, that's that's the reviewer we want. And so I am reviewing the B Singer Plus Pro. How good will it be? There's only one way to know. Let's go ahead and just crack this open. The packaging looks decent. All right. So that pops right off. Okay. Okay. Here we go. And I believe this comes with quite a few accessories, but we'll see. I wasn't really in the market for another pair of in ears after I got these guys. You know, these are the K. Uh, KZ, what was it? KZ ZS6. Those were great for me. I I don't feel like I need these, but someone wants me to review them. We're gonna see if they're any good. I have no idea what that's for. So that's something. Here we got some cables. Two different cables. Looks like. Oh, and it comes with it comes with a carrying case as well. That's pretty cool, actually. Professional screen cleaning paper. Do not know why this is in here. Yeah, that's that's a mystery to me. Okay, let's just get right into it because if you're if you're in the market for these headphones, the reason you're looking for them is because they're cheap and you want good sounding headphones. Seems pretty smooth all around. So this might be better for someone with smaller ears. All right, let's just do this thing. I guess let's take a look at the cables first, see what we're getting into there. So one of them has a microphone. That seems to be the case, and then I'm guessing this other one probably won't. Uh, that's usually how they do it for in-ear monitors. Yep, this one does not. By the way, both cables have these memory wire hooks so that you can bend them and shape them around your ear. Okay. Yeah, that's blocking out all noise. I feel like that's molded to my ear a little bit better as well. All right, the, the true test though is sound quality. And just like in my previous review, wow, I don't know how loud I'm talking. Just like in my previous review, I'm going to give them a good honest chance. If they don't sound good right away, I'm gonna try a couple things to get them to sound good. Again, I'm gonna be listening to a song that is very familiar to me so that I'm able to determine how it sounds in scope to what I've listened to that didn't make sense. So I'm able to determine how it sounds compared to the other things that I've listened to that song on. So like my studio monitors, my audio technicas, my other monitors. And I'm gonna compare it on paper too so you can see a visual representation of what these sound signature, what, what these sound like basically. Wow. I have to crank these to full volume. Okay, yeah. Okay, wow. They sound good. Uh, I haven't listened on anything else today, so let me compare immediately. Let me just listen to these. Those those are comfy. That I will say that right now. Compared to these, those are going to be more comfortable for you for sure. I have huge ears, so it doesn't really matter for me. But all right. All right. Let's listen to another song and compare again. I got I got to take some time to listen to these. I think the reason my first review did so well is because people were looking for these headphones and because I just I took my time and made a good review and I want to do that here as well. I'm going to try a, a larger tip on these. Okay, so those tips fit better, but um, I'm getting a back draw problem with those and basically what that means is that there is no room for the pressure that is created by the speakers to escape my ear canals which actually makes it quieter 
And that's not what I'm aiming for here. Um, so let's try a different tip. But uh, if I cannot find a tip that works well, I will use the foam ear tips. Yeah, we'll try that. I don't know how it's gonna sound. That sounds horrible. Okay, hold on. <laughs> That's why I was having to crank the volume so hard in the beginning, is because I wasn't getting, I was getting too tight of a seal. I'm gonna change tips again, cause those, those weren't doing it. Okay. It, it's, Yeah, it. I will try one more thing before I give my opinion on these. Because the, the what the issue I'm having with these is not something that is fixed with burn-in. It's not something that's fixed with burn-in. I'm going to take these foam tips and stick them on the, the other earbuds. I said I'm not going to lie, company. I can't do anything if it if it's not a good product. I can't. I can't do it. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> real quick, what I'll try, because again, this is this is like the last thing. Is maybe the other cable, the one with the microphone, is actually better. That uh, sounds better. I want it to work. I really do. I want it to be good. I mean, think of me. I'm getting I'm getting this product for free to review. Why would I be motivated to lie about this? I, I'm not. I'm not sponsored by KZ. I have no affiliation with any headphone brands. I'm a tiny YouTuber. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm genuinely, the sound quality was not good. Let's see with this cable. Same sound. Same sound. Okay. All right, it's been several days later. I've let these guys burn in. No difference. But I'm not gonna say beyond a shadow of a doubt you shouldn't get them. And that, let me explain why. These headphones have a leg up over the KZs in a couple categories. And I went over those a little bit, but let me just reiterate. They're smaller, they'll probably fit your ears better. They have a sleeker design. They're smooth all around, so they're less likely to grow and be uncomfortable in a user's ears that are smaller. Not an issue with my ears, because they're massive. I like that it comes with a case. I like that it comes with two cables. The cables seem to be decent quality. It comes with a variety of tips for your earbuds. And so this, I mean, you have a lot of good stuff going for you. And this, this really is a message directly to the person who makes this product. In some ways, you're beating the competition. But I think you need to reevaluate a couple aspects and designs of your headphones and here they are and you can either take this criticism and use it to improve yourself or you can discard it as being irrelevant and untrue it's the same with, like what I have to do when people comment on my videos and tell me that they don't like something that I'm doing I have to I have to decide for myself I have to say you know what they're right and I should fix this or I say they have no idea what they're talking about and I'm gonna keep doing what I, I'm doing or what they're saying is just a preference a lot of people don't think that and I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. These headphones don't have a good ventilation system. Headphones need a good ventilation system. I don't think I'll be able to show it really well with this camera, so I'm gonna insert some B-roll here so you can see. There's a tiny pinhole, and all in-ear monitors need ventilation of one sort or another. Just the way that the drivers and the cones inside of an in-ear monitor works, they're constantly sucking and pushing air out. The speakers, the, the heads, are doing this to make sound. And when they do this, they push the air in and suck air in. And when they come back, they push air out and suck air out. That's how speakers make sound. And your ventilation system just, I, I don't think it's good enough. And I think that's why the sound quality suffers. Now the reason you should believe me and not discredit this is because I actually had a spout of being really interested in making in-ear monitors. I made my own custom in-ear monitors by molding the shape of my ear and then with epoxy and with like some rubber uh, molding I made exact replications of course they turned out to be horrible you're worlds above what I was doing here but when I met with the owner of 1964 audio and I showed him what I had made he said where's your ventilation and he explained this to me I didn't know this just off the top of my head and he explained to me how speakers work and that that 
uh, among a variety of other things, could be contributing to why the sound quality wasn't very good. So the ventilation, that that's a big deal. And I think that might be the cause of the poor sound quality because two drivers is certainly enough to create a full and rich sound quality. One driver is enough. But when you're cramming so much hardware inside of something that is specifically meant to perfectly conform to your ear and block out all outside noise, you need ventilation. I think this becomes especially true because of how great of a job you've done making this headphone perfectly fit inside your ear. It fits really well. And so that, that's why you need better ventilation. I also think you should change your cable connection design because I actually had one and the first day I looked at this just pop right off uh, inside my ear. I don't like that it swivels. I don't like that very much. But those two things aren't deal breakers. What ends up being the deal breaker is the sound quality. I'm gonna take a minute to address the sound quality in a very specific way. All right, I'm gonna start with the KZ ZS Fix. Again, just to explain, these lines represent what the human ear can actually hear. And with the KZZS6, there's a hump uh, right where the symbols and where the sibilance is. Sibilance, not sibilance. Sibilance is. That's the KZZS6. They're great. They have tons of detail and the quality, not just the frequency response, but the quality of the sound that's being made is really good. It's like 4K audio. That's, that's how I compare it. My audio technicos. I actually have a somewhat similar sound stage where they have really, really detailed, fine sound, but there is a bit of harshness in that top end and then a little undercut above that. Um, so that's this, Audio-Technica M50X. They actually end up sounding very similar to the KZZS6, so when you go between those two, it sounds similar. My Mackie uh, studio monitors have a little dropout in the bass frequencies, and I'd say a little bit of wavering up in the top section. Well, that's how I give those. The dropout in the bottom ends up being a bit of an issue when you're making music because you can't hear how hot something is and then you'll go over to a pair of headphones that don't have that and you're like, oh gosh, that's loud. Things like kicks and bass lines or like doubled octave lower bass lines end up sounding a lot fuller in other sound mediums. All of these are good. All of these I can work with. If you're interested in seeing some other earbud comparisons, I'll link the video up here that I did um, reviewing the KZZS6 in your monitors. I also looked at the ErgoFits, Mi Electronics headphones, as well as some MonoPress in your monitors, and I showed the sound spectrum on each of those. Here's the sound spectrum on these new in-ears. Here it is. It's the big one. It's muddy. The sound is muddy. And on top of that, we're talking about quality of sound, it's not like the bass is hotter and it sounds good. The bass doesn't sound good. It's like a loose bass. The sound replication isn't very good. And I already went over why I think that is. But that's what my ears are telling me. Um, is that it's muddy and it's missing some of the high frequency. So when you look to music, or listen to music, <laughs> when you listen to music, it's not an exciting sound. Um, and it's not an accurate sound either. I listen to some of my own music, I listen to some of my videos, I listen to professionally mastered music, and every time, it's not that it was unflattering, it's that it was untrue in its replication. So who, who should get these in-ear monitors? First of all, I'd say if they can fix the sound, everyone, anyone, should get the in-ear monitors. The cost, combined with the fact that if they were to get them to sound good, they sound good, is, I mean, it's just a no-brainer. 50 bucks, good quality in your monitors. I don't think I can recommend these to anyone with how the sound is now. I think the Panasonic ErgoFits, which are less than $10, sound better. If you're watching this, the company who makes these headphones, what's it again? Basin? B-Singer Pro. If you're watching this, guys, I mean, please, I'm begging you, take this as an opportunity to come back from the stronger. I'm not meaning to slam you. I'm not meaning to tear you guys down or, I mean, anything. I, I have to applaud you, actually, for reaching out to someone and wanting your products reviewed. I can only assume that part of that is you want the exposure, but also, I'm guessing that part of it is you want feedback, and I'm hoping that you can take this feedback well. If you're watching this, I'm sure it would mean a lot to people who are watching this video, looking at your product, if you were to comment down below and were to state something along the lines of we're working on this, we're 
going to try to make this better. Because I think more than anything else, people appreciate companies who are honest and communicate properly when they make mistakes, when the accidents happen, or when things can be better. So again, this has been the Music Vlogger. Please consider subscribing. I do product reviews of things like these, and I make tons of music. You might like my stuff. And the final thing I want to say is if you are a company and you think you have a good product, feel free to reach out to me and send me your product because I'll review it. And um, I, th I think I review audio gear pretty well. And so it might be beneficial for you if you have a good product to send it my way. So down in the description, I'll leave an email where you can reach out to me and then I'll be able to send you an address. I'd love to work with some more um, audio companies and kind of help improve products or you know tell people about products that are really good. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later and peace.